Hello everybody, welcome to another round of 16 game for the NAF Rules Cup. We've got Pagan Agent with Lizard Men here, receiving against Chaos Cop with Necromantic. It's a standard Necromantic team, 3 block, 4 guard, swap the 8th skill for his second ghoul. The Lizards are a little bit unusual in that they only have 5 block and have a guard Crocs. And also they've got the only two re-rolls but a 12th player who is starting in the field at Chameleon Skink. And I've slightly mispositioned here in the setup. This is like the standard anti-blitz setup for Lizards. But these Skinks should be one out, right? Because at the moment, if there is a blitz, this Saurus would get blitzed and there would be a gaping hole. Whereas if these Skinks were one across, there would not be there would be no way through on a blitz. So slight mistake there from Pagan Agent to open it with. But also in the booth is Dimmy G. Hello, Dimmy. How are you, sir? Hello, everybody. Hello, Jimmy. Happy birthday. Oh, thanks. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Are you 29 as well? I am. Oh, wow. What were the chances? That's amazing. <laughs> oh, wow. He, he went on the ball, didn't get under it, and then it scattered to him, and he still didn't catch it. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Incredible scenes. Amazing. Gosh. Block gets a removal. Lovely. It's quite funny that I think the guard crocs of course is actually good in this matchup. Mm. I mean, the guard crocs of is never as bad, is it? it? Is. It's just yeah, a block. It's not a block source, yeah, yeah block Saurus is like a really hard thing to not take. Oh my oh goodness. Oh my god, what a start. Is that a KO and a Kaz? Mm. Oh, here we go. The thing about the, the, thing about the guard crocs is. It's like it leaves a Saurus defenseless, which then means that Saurus is relentlessly targeted by your opponent Blitz, right? Like this this block of the Saurus is definitely just gonna get blitzed by it both, right? So that's like that's the problem with it. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, relentlessly targeted. Mm hmm I mean maybe not, because he's got support there. Could have, could have blitzed this one, like, pick this one off, would have been alright. Could have put two assists oh, there. Just gonna sit there. Yeah, I don't like this at all. I would definitely yeah, put like, the Fleshy and Wraith in and blitz this one. Or, yeah. if you blitz this one, it's a bit harder, right? Because you'd have to put in, like... Yeah, I'd go for the one on the right. Yeah, yeah, this is this wasn't an awkward spot. But you'd want to hit this one. You'd definitely want to hit this one, because it's defenceless. So you're looking to blitz this one every turn. But, you you know, things you couldn't use to... Oh, I don't know, break. Oh, wow. This is a bit of a dicing so far. This is like, this is God tier dice rolls. <laughs> this, this is tournament winning dice rolls. I have to say. Oh, and just by the way, Jimmy, another goddamn necromantic game. Like, <laughs> yeah. what, what is this channel? What has your channel turned into? I'm sorry, it was Eurobo rules, and the, the necros were pretty good. Eurobo rules. Yeah, whoever's organising the next Eurobowl rules, if you're watching this. This was wild. This is a wonder you never went uphill. He's got eight. He <laughs> didn't blitz last turn. <laughs> <laughs> then made up for it this turn. Yeah, let me. It's an AV up werewolf. That's for the game as well, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is, yeah. I am pretty good. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. What's interesting is he's carrying on the skink, right? So I like it for the free chance to catch it with the uh, on the ball. Um, but I feel like once you haven't done that, then just pick up the skink, right? Because he's minus move, which is just terrible. He's actually a terrible carrier. He's good for two turning because he's PA three plus. So he's good for like one and two turning with on the ball and PA three plus. But when it comes to carrying, You'd much rather have it on a normal screen. There's going to be a lot of punches now, I think. Yeah. Well, maybe I'm wrong. I would have tried to like win the win the fight here. What is neck bro? Yeah, I don't know, like, tried to pile in and make blocks and stuff. You can get the rake in behind the swords. Yeah. Oh, he dirty Dino. Outrageous. <coughs> Didn't get him. 
He rolled it. Wow. That was the rave. Maybe he thought it was a 1D, right? Uh, like, I, I wouldn't have. Re <laughs> I, I would have done the uphill, but I wouldn't have re rolled it, so I, no, I don't understand any. I would have done the uphill, but I just wouldn't have re rolled it. How's it? Oh my, oh my god, is it gone gone? Is it gone gone? It's not no, gone gone. No, they're never gone gone. <laughs> I was just blocking me, bro. Yeah. Oh no, he's dodging <laughs> and failing. Oh. Flip me. Oh my god, the Wraith didn't even catch it. Fucking diced. Oh. Fucking diced or what? Okay, this is an aggressive, very aggressive move. Before the pickup just fucks off. And he rerolled it and it comes back to me. <laughs> <laughs> that was incredible. <laughs> He's just run his goal a mile away. <laughs> <laughs> and pretty great. Oh, amazing. Okay. Makes the pickup. He's now got an actual decent ball carry. Yep. Oh, I would like keeping that well tagged. Okay. Yeah, I would have kept that well tagged as well. I mean, he's got two, so it doesn't matter too much, I guess. Oh, man, no, yeah, but if he stands up, you punch it, and if not, he has to dodge, it could cost him a reroll. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, I would, have, I would have kept him tagged. I just, it probably just doesn't matter that much. Hmm. Could have chained his fleshy in, couldn't he? This was this was the play this turn, by the way. Um. Because the fleshy's there, isn't he? He's just stood him up. So he could have just gone round there and blocked him, chained in the fleshy, and then the fleshy could have 2 the ball. That's got to be the play. Uh... Look, this is what he was like. Yeah, no, 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 no. But you're saying he can 2D the ball, but he hasn't cancelled. Like, he needs the power, because otherwise he doesn't cancel the Saurus. Oh, yeah. Well, no, no. He he, he, would, he cancels the Saurus. He, he gets 2D. He, he just needs to He needs to power. Yeah, he needs to power to get rid of the guard. Yeah, the guard on the, the, yeah. guard on the Crocs is a problem. So but, like, it's, it's still a good that. thing to do, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. You think? You don't think getting two dice on the ball is a good thing to do? I not at this stage. I think getting that werewolf back. He's getting that back anyway. Like, isn't he? Hang on. You can stand yeah. him up, bring in the wolf. No, this this wolf has to go in there. This, this yeah, wolf goes in here, stands. and you stand him, and then you two D him. Pow. And if you and power, then... you push him in. And if you don't power, you like push him back or something and then blitz with this yeah. guy or whatever, I don't know. Maybe yeah, you still yeah. just push him there and then just stand him up. And no, then no, no, like, you, can, you can push him in because you've got the, well, on the pal, you can push him in and then you've got the ghoul free to tag the left saurus. To yes. Give you, yeah. Yeah. Well, you don't need to, and you don't need to tag the saurus anyway, he's 22. You have to follow, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I think that was definitely the play to, to chain in the fleshy. Yeah, and then I guess you got the werewolf out the back for some sort of recovery or yeah. stand on the Yeah, I agree. Thanks. But didn't get the pal. But uh but then could have still like just pushed in the fleshy right and, and like stood firm and then this wolf could have then blitzed him. Which would have also been good, wouldn't it? I think I think that was nice. I think that was a nice way of doing it. But, you know, he's based the ball. Things can happen when you base the ball. Usually the guy basing the ball getting smashed on two dice, but <laughs> sometimes good things. Only a push. A little cage there. I mean, not yet, but there's there could be. Yeah, it doesn't fall. 
think you have to keep the wolf tanked, as you say. I think it's just fear in the floor. Oof. He even added a dodge by not following. Oh my god, he just keeps 1D powering this. <laughs> this <flashy. laughs> like, it's not bad, is it? It's a 2 plus, works half the time. Like, it's. It's a fine thing to be doing, it's just wild, because I would have definitely sculled and died. <laughs> oh man, two into one. That's a push. Didn't take the both down. Yeah. What a whim. Put that ray through. Whoa. Yeah. He gets the ray through. Oh my god, yeah. Definitely, definitely take the both down there. Yeah. Million percent. Four million. <laughs> As Daedal would say. <laughs> uh. Oh my god, that's a croc. That was a crocs block and he made the loner for it. Outrageous. Oh. And he had like the block guy right there. Oh, yeah, made... but he needs the block guy to blitz the wolf, was his thinking. Yeah. Oh my god. He's on his Jesus. What a turn. Those are some dice. Oh, and then he just dodges. dodges. Well. Flip me. Oh man. Oh my god! It's not... Oh my god! Oh, dear. oh my god! You're just surfing on a free pass, right? Yep. Uh... Yeah, I had to make the screen there. Yes. It's, it's one of those bad. situations where, like, yes, it's better to have him here if you only make one. But like you, you, you'd need to make two anyway. So just you know, pl play for making two is what he had to do. But you know, fail the three plus, so he's he's in for one nil. Oh, look at that! And he uh, pop dodge. Whoa! That was. It's a pretty wild half. Yeah. I thought he played like all right. Just uh. A couple of uh, tweaks. UI problems here with like not not saving the setup, I guess. And then yeah, he's, he's done it. Good though. Definitely try and surf this one. I think. Start off to so like try and surf one and being wide. Yeah, probably one in for the server. So. And then, and then if it doesn't work, I mean, you could try the one turn as well, but it's low chance without any rerolls. So I would set up to to surf him, and then if you don't surf him, then you just get to blitz the blitz the crocs, don't you? He's still got his app over there. So. Yeah. Oh, there's bribes as well. So you get a big old bribe on the crocs. Oh my god, I hate I hate that get the ref. Yeah, so do I. Like no matter what team I'm playing and what team I'm playing against, it always favours them like <laughs> man. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> right, we're not fouling the crocs, we're fouling this guy. Or it will happen at a time where you know like where like you could have fouled like the last drive <laughs> It's reached a certain point where you can no longer really foul, and yes. they can, and it's like, then they get the ref back in. Or like, after you've had a player sent off. Yep. So the player here is one million percent um, for the Necro. Oh wow, Knuckle Dusters. Oh my god, this guy's got Knuckle Dusters and plus AV. Oh my god. Forest, <laughs> That's insane. The players definitely have a fleshy here, right? Fleshy and uh, 
either a second guarder or a lineman, like oh, yeah, two players, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then Blitz Lineman. here, and then two goals it in, and then one back. So yeah, that was that was a definite, like, you know, if you can make those push into stand firms with Blitz as you really want to. Instead of one D, which you do not want to. And you do not oh want my to. god! He's used the rear already. Yep. Yeah, yeah these, were, these were not good plays. Like he could have just had another player and then started with his two D, and then you know made that a two D if he wanted. Oh my god! Oh my god! Scrolled. It doesn't re-roll it out of just out of just spite now. I <laughs> <Like>, know. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it still oh, needed to be re-rolled, right? Like, it's just one of those. You still have to re-roll it. It's not you're not happy about it, but you've got to do it. No, punch him again. Yeah, punch him again. Kill him. Well, I guess it's so unlikely. Maybe ten plus one. Oof. Well, it's uh, it's you know, BB Jock. It's just a, uh, it's just a thirty-two man tournament free entry. You know, it's not like, it's not like the, you know, oh. final eight of the uh, World Cup or the, you know, the final eight of the season two finals or Blood Bowl Super League or, you know, top eight of Chalice or anything. Is it like maybe it's top or four like, of Chalice? Or like the top. For the top five of each group in BBSL. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ironically enough, of course, the bottom of each uh, group is the best player. Um, K Fog and myself. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I think. <laughs> hang on, I'm. I might not be top anymore, right? So, I guess, uh... Uh, no, yeah, no, you're not because Andy's got the head-to-head -head versus you, wasn't he? I think second best in each. Group is the best. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't um, Chaos Cop was the one who played Triple Skull, wasn't it? Who beat Triple Skull? Yeah, yeah. He did lots of one days that game as well. <laughs> yeah, that was a wild game. That was really fun. Honestly, it's so refreshing to watch like all levels of Blood Bowl. Like some of the games have been hilarious. <laughs> oh wow! The uh, Renegades was it the Re I can't remember the Renegades play. Was that against Nick Romantic as well? Yeah, yeah, I, th I think it was. Yeah, the Renegade game was incredible, incredible fun. The Dead Ogre on turn one. Yeah. <laughs> Animosity. Oh, this was a cool bits. Try to be yourself that some felt like two players get served. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was that was that was the most humiliating day of my life. Oh my god, another one D blitz. Yeah. Got four guard players. <laughs> well, there was a removal there, but uh. Yeah, I thought it. Yeah. I thought it. Yeah. Another frenzy trap. Okay, well, I feel like this is going to go very badly for the Necro now. Surely. 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 Most humiliating so far. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Yeah. I don't think it will be beaten. I've never done a move that bad in my entire life. You know, as somebody who's played Blood Bowl since 1990. Um... I can't imagine I've ever done anything that bad before and never will again. Yeah, 1990, when it was uh, when it was like second edition, completely unrecognisable from today. Um, shop doors. And I've never done no, no. Before then, 1990 was like uh, Ninja Assassins in 1990. Ninja Assassins. And I've never done Very anything. Else. I've never done anything as bad as what I did in BBSL. Oh, wrong blitz direction. <laughs> 29, eh? In 1990, yeah. I was 10. I mean, I, I did say I've been 29 for 15 years. <laughs> I started when I was 10. 
And I was already just the best instantly at everything when I was 10. Was you an annoying 10 year old? Too? Yeah, probably didn't you? Yeah. yeah, I was well annoying. <laughs> <laughs> First Terminator! <laughs> this game is still mental, by the way, like just not caging and uphilling and stuff and just double powering casually every time. <laughs> be break. Oh my god. We missed it. We missed a treat without not playing uh, Chaos Cop. <laughs> beating up Jim. I didn't beat him up and I didn't trash it. I just pushed him. I just pushed him against the uh, against like the wall. It's quite quite unexciting. But he did call the police on me. <laughs> it's because he was lying saying we weren't allowed to play blood ball, and I like he said nobody in the northeast was was allowed to play blood ball. But I had specifically phoned up every single shop in the northeast. <laughs> And asked them if I could play a blood ball that day. <laughs> so I just started calling him a fucking liar and stuff. And he was like, ooh, don't swear. And I was like, fuck you, you fucking liar. I mean, I just hate liars. I hate cheats and liars. And, uh, and he was just lying at me. So I wasn't very happy about it. And then he tried to take my case off me to try and kick me out. So then I only pushed him. It was very, uh, very unexplained. This is this is amazing that the uh, Necro is still battling here. Yeah, that like is. It looked pretty much over, I thought, but the uh, yeah, this is something. When one be blitz through the skink on the ball, and then like push the ghoul free instead of. Pushing it into the other skin can double tag in it. Mm. And then. Oh, our appearance. Our appearance is pretty good, isn't it? It's so good, yeah. Oh, he sides up the wrong square, the Crocs is in. Crocs is blitzing, in fact. Oh, amazing. Gets the full power! Oh my god! <laughs> Bosh. Oh man. Last reroll gone. Picks it up. Can't score though. Instant 2D. Wow. 2D, 2D. Instant 2D. Yeah, it should be an instant 2D. Get the push. Pushes, pushes, and now. 4D on the ball. Instant pow. Yeah, pick up. One reroll. Oh, he nice. caught it. Oh, he rerolled the catch. Oh my god, he rerolled the catch. For me. You don't reroll the catch because it's a four plus. You reroll the pickup because it's a three plus. Yes, and you might just make the pickup as well, right? Like you might just yeah. succeed the three plus. You don't have, yeah, you don't. Yeah, that was... And it's easier. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Even if the catch was a three and the pickup was a four, you're still better off not re-rolling the, th not re -rolling the catch and then just give yourself, like, three chances to get the ball instead of, you know, the other way. Like, two free chances to get it before the third is better than you expending the re-roll straight away. Oh, my God, the Lizards just rolled a up score. First oh. action. No safe moves first. No safe moves, skink still down. Uh, the only time you would re-roll a catch is when you've thrown like an inaccurate pass and then it to stop the turnover. Yeah. Difficult. Or like if you've got a player in the end zone, right, who's just going to score. Yeah, player Stuff in the end like zone. That. Or, uh, what's the other one? If you've got loads of re-rolls and like... 
Yeah. You know, if you've got multiple like, rerolls and you have to get it in your hand and stuff. If it's like, yeah, like they've blitzed your ball carrier and it's landed on one of your other players. Mm. Can you reroll that? You can't reroll that because it's not going to turn. Because <laughs> uh, there, there is a time when you need to reroll catch. I just, like, maybe it's like turn 15 or 16. Yeah. This is gone. It's, no, it's, it's got, he's still got a GFI, hasn't he? He's still got a GFI. Still got a GFI. And he's got to get away from the... Oh, oh this, no. this should have been in front. No! No! Pagan agent. So now he can just blitz through the skink, right? Which is way yeah. worse than... If the skink was here, it's like so much better. Because now he's got to blitz the Soros and he's still got to you know, close on to dodge yeah. as well. But, uh, yeah, that was not good. Wrong square. It's the wrong trousers, Gromit. Still gonna keep one depowering this guy. <laughs> so just tag the skin, uh, stack, tag the Soros and then blitz through the skin. Take the push, of course, the plim plum push. Gets the pow. It's dusty. The removal and a GFI. No dance though. Gets the toddy. Oh, three KOs. Two come back. <clears throat> wow. I tell you what, Chaos Cops run. Beating Triple Skull and then uh, getting to overtime here is incredible. Can he do it in overtime? He hasn't lost any players. And he's removed. Oh, only one he got the kills. But... Yeah, he's got a bench. No rerolls for anyone though. No. Solid D. I don't think there's going to be a one turn. Uh... I mean, it's doable. No rerolls, though, right? So. Yeah. No rerolls and uh, flesh bones and stuff. Still got a, still got a bribe. He could try and uh, foul the zombie. <laughs> he couldn't knock over a fleshy, could he? He probably should have tried to knock over a fleshy so he could have fouled it. Okay, Pagan Agent has one more toss. There we go. Still has 11 players. Wolf has now lost Mighty Blow. He's less, less amazing than he was, but he was really amazing for a short while. Really amazing. Really amazing, Jim. Really nice. Solid D. It's already perfect, no problem. Ah, gets the touch back and correctly gives it to a movement 8 skink. Instant removal. Must be nice. You know, you know saying that I started playing in 1990, I did make a removal in 1995, it was, it was a great day. so we can move and assist to make the three day wait did he run out of time that was a blitz and then he didn't move after it and he didn't block the cross I, maybe he's run out of time at this point eh that was pretty weird oh man we're just all mansing it let's go Two into one. Gets the pow. It's the pow. Pow, 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 pow. I mean, he's good to have the ability, like, in the real world. Hmm. It's tough in it, the guards. It's hard to get two Ds for the lizards, so yeah, just blitz him. Yeah. Oh. Flip me, Ooh. we're all in, we're just fighting back. Oh, <laughs> oh. window hot in here. <laughs> Alright, Nelly. Yeah.
Oh, flip me. This is not a safe cage. He has guard here. <laughs> yeah. Flip me. Flip me. 1 in 9. Oh, he's not even gone for it. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, my God. That was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> that was literally incredible. <laughs> wow. There you go. I mean, there, there you have it. Unbelievable, Jeff. The sideline cage and... Uh, dub skulls. <laughs> didn't move this guy first. Uh, this guy could have gone there. Instant. Again, no safe moves first. Let's just go straight for this. Bosh. Oh, I can't really stand up the wall. Oh, the zombies are over there. Yep, zombie. Zombie could have stood up. And he's stunned. <laughs> 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 oh, could have uh, could have punched with this, with this one, right? And then um, could have punched with him. Got this here. Punched with him. Done something like that. I don't know. Could have, could have done something to, like, you know, not... Maybe not as safe as punching that, but I mean that was a two and a one and like a GFI or whatever, wasn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like so try and get just get the girl back and stuff. Would be the best player to try and do like kind of failure state moves first. Not really safe, but avoid disaster moves. Which this is now. Officially disaster for the necro, but yeah, hell of a game. Very fun to watch. Why is Blitz the goal free? I don't know. He's he does some weird non follows. Um, just pagan agent. Yeah, he definitely wants to just follow there and stop ghouls being able to run around. Didn't tag the walls, did he, in the first half? Sometimes. Yeah. Oh wow, that was oh, so that was enough to try and clear the wraith of it. No. Oh, to take the wraith, I think. Uh, oh, no. I don't know, Jeff! One, two, Super three, important. four, five, six. Blitz the goo, maybe? The gal. The gal, yeah. You want to punch him the other way, though, don't you? I mean, you do, but... Beggar's oh, coffee like, chooses. Tagged him from the left, and then punched him back down. I just want two tries to knock him down, I think. More than a... You know, more than the direction, just two chances to hurt him. And you'd have all been like, you know, if you block him, then block him, you kind of screen him as well with the skink. If you push him twice. So I like that. Oh, here we go. Gets a knockdown. Might force in the score. Ah, uh, he's got the coxicle. Yeah, no, it's not forcing the score, is he? He's got, he's got, he's, yeah, he's got those sores down. It's not score. Didn't stand up the wolf. So, uh, yeah. Huh? Three dice. Pow, 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 pow. <laughs> Cleared him off the crocs. Yeah, yeah. The problem was you want to you want to set it up so that you can keep him on the crocs and then foul him with like four assists, right? You still got the you still got the bribe, so and the communion. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Didn't follow that one either. Yeah, it's, I don't know why he's not following and not fouling the goo either. Oh my god, he's oh went all through god. tail! <laughs> and he gets the knockdown! Oh my god! <laughs> Incredible! That's 
absolute seeds. It's oh, funny that the company that he didn't take. Like all this has happened. It's like you know, if he'd done these safe moves earlier, he would have had like you know two wolves that could have got relevant, right? But instead, because they weren't standing up and stuff and not doing things, incredible. No, oh, oh. Crocs go stupid. Gets the scatter. Turn twenty-three. Oh, not in a tackle zone. He could have chained the ghoul off. Like if he put the guy in the middle and then blitzed the zombie from the side. Mm. Could have done. But is that as cool, Dimmy? This is mental. <laughs> it's pretty mental, yeah. Oh, that was his scoring threat! <laughs> I mean, he's not scoring. <laughs> But, uh, oh dear. Yeah, no, I mean, I, that, that was right. I think I think that was right, honestly. You get two people to come up. Oh, he picked up the ball. That's it. <laughs> wow. That was a great game, though. That was good. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Very fun. I don't even know what those dodges were. They were, they must have been six pluses. Yeah, they were wild. They were through tail. They had to be. Through yeah. tail, like, and there was like three lizards in a row in there. <laughs> yeah, it was like they must have literally <laughs> been like six, six, five, yeah. four or something. <laughs> Who would make dodge rolls like that though, Jimmy? Not me. I oh, never be able to roll yeah, those kind of dodges. Yeah, I still haven't given you that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy. Oh, that's in the that's in the wrong square. He did not need to be there at all, but he does need to fill in the squares later. But this is uh, nearly got it, didn't he? Nearly got the. Uh, oh, yeah, not bad. Nearly got the third three pushes. I would say that the goals are too. Uh... Oh, and he had the uh, stun guy, so it's only a three push through the background. Yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. Commiserations, Chaos Cop. It was fantastic. For the entertainment and uh, congratulations, Pagan Agent, who won and makes it through to um, quarters. The quarters against Talk Talk Talk. Wow. There you go. You can see there we've got one quarter. So the only game left is BB Nut versus Coke Guy. Um, I don't know when they are scheduled, but I think they are. I think like there's got us like a slight uh, extension. To play, so I think I think yeah. they are they have got an extension to play. So yeah, nearly nearly the quarterfinals are set, and uh, yeah, there you go. That's that, and uh, yeah, happy birthday, Jimmy! Happy birthday, Jimmy! Happy birthday, everyone! Wow! And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.